In the lights are dimmed here, this is The Film Room. I'm Jake Turner. Michael Keaton is one of the best understated actors out there. I can count on both hands how many great performances he delivers, but no Oscar yet. His latest, The Founder, is my Blu-ray pick of the week, and it is one of the best films of the year. Keaton is Ray Kroc, an over-the-hill milkshake salesman who is trying to sell these machines that make multiple milkshakes until the McDonald brothers order up eight of them for the restaurant in San Bernardino, California. He takes it upon himself to drive out west to meet the two brothers and then he comes across a fast food joint that sells hamburgers for 15 cents in 30 seconds or less. No drive-in or long wait times. He meets Mac and Dick McDonald played by John Carroll Lynch and Nick Offerman who during dinner tell Ray how they all came up with this innovative idea. Ray takes it upon himself to franchise McDonald's and work with the brothers. Now, Keaton is cynical and ruthless, but he is actually eerily likable as Ray Kroc. He embodies many of his mannerisms and salesman type techniques to get people to meet with him, but he doesn't do it alone. He teams up with Harry Sonnenberg, played by B.J. Novak, and the wife of a Minnesota entrepreneur, played by Linda Cardellini. They branch it out and they try to bring lots of dollar signs to the brand. Novak and Cardellini are very good as well. Lynch and Offerman, though, were able to bring it at times here, bringing sympathy to the brothers, but also that minimal and fear of failure because they failed enough already throughout the film. Offerman shows serious versatility in his role, and I could definitely see him going down a path similar to Steve Carell, while Carol Lynch delivers as always. Director John Lee Hancock was the right guy for an idea like this. He mixes in conventional storytelling, then flips it on its side and adds some visual flair to the scenes, knowing when to slow down the tempo and increase it. And it also works well with Robert Siegel's script that even takes on the issues with Croc's personal life with his wife Ethel, played by Laura Dern. The music by Carter Burwell has a sweet and touching taste to it, but then it adds an aftertaste of something is just about to go wrong on the wrong side here. It blew my mind of how little we knew about Ray Kroc, the McDonald's brand, and how the McDonald brothers kept it from being the billion dollar product it is today. However, this isn't a McDonald's movie that makes you want to run out and order a number one with fries. I promise you, it actually makes you wonder, what could have been? Why did each party commit the actions they did to one another? But you know what? I'm loving it. The Founder is one of the best of 2017, and I give The Founder an A. Now, did you see the founder? I want you to comment below. Give your take. The best take will be read on our Blockbuster Take of the Week. In Chicago, as the late Cisco and Ebert once said, the balcony is closed. And I'll see you next time on The Film Room. I'm Jake Turner. <laughs>